it's left okay. so yeah so we are, we are discussing about the sap installations software downloads what are the softwares we downloads and installations we are discussing right yesterday we have downloaded the list of softwares the bulk softwares we have downloaded so then list of softwares we have downloaded uh, and uh, uh, we have placed into the application server level you can see so in the c drive sap softwares we have the db db client kernel kernel softwares are available here and netweaver exports exports are available here so right and also so these are the files are available here right those are the files are available so files are available here but here we missed the swpm swpm software is not exist here we missed the swpm here so let me copy the swpm software here swpm software here i have the swpm software i think here so yes i have here swpm software so in other desktop our is the so 3391 is the our desktop here so i'm just copying the as a WPM software from so that location to here I am copying the desktop here. So right. So why because using the as WPM software we have to perform the so this installations and everything we have to use it here. So as a WPM is the software provisioning manager software. So provisioning manager is the software. So this may take time. What I can do here. Let me create the network sharing here. Just copying the softwares here in the software center so the copying the softwares are very important here so otherwise otherwise so you may have to again you have to read download and everything here so as part of the the installation prerequisite so as part of the installation preparation steps the os should be installed and also you require the some space and also ram we required ram requirements minimum 16 gb ram is required so the space 200 GB free space is required here. So right operating system, either the Windows or Linux operating systems you required here. So then and also you need to so download the software. Software is also you required here. So SWPM, kernel and exports, right? And also DB and DB client, DB, DB client, both are same DVD and SAP host agent software. So these are the softwares you required to perform the installation here. The installation, the first we need to start with the SWPM tool. SWPM tool, we have to open the SWPM tool here. SWPM tool, so we have to open the SWPM tool to start the installation here. SWPM tool, we have to open the SWPM tool. The port number for the SWPM tool is for the 4237 is the port number. 42 Three seven is the port number for the SWPM tool. Four two three seven is the port number for SWPM tool here, right? SWPM tool here. So let me open the SWPM tool here. Just click on the SWPM, then just go to the double click on the SAP INST. Okay. So you are in the softwares location. SAP softwares. We have the softwares are ready here. SWPM exports kernel DB DB client. So host agent, host agent we have not downloaded that I will get downloaded that is later which will be required here. 
right so now installation we have to start with the swpm tool swpm is the software where you have to open the so installation here you need to double click the swpm tool here see here you need to just open the swpm tool here so that so it will open the url in the browser it will open the one url in the browser here so that you have to so that you have to open the url in the browser here so swpm tool so the port number for the swpm is the 4237 is the port number this is the very 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 important port number so multiple occasions they may ask you questions on the what is the installation tool swpm tool is the we have to use for the installations so what is the port number for the swpm tool 4237 is the tool here we have to use it here here see here whenever you click on the you open here it is opened the link in the browser 4237 link it is opened in the browser here just go to the here open in the chrome why because so chrome it is very neat here just open in the unsafe mode here here it will ask the administrator password give the administrator user then you can type the password here right so maybe whatever the user you are starting it will ask the that user password enter the password then swpm is opened here see here swpm is tool is opened here so this is the tool we have to do the installation and this tool is that it will open the url in the browser https and host name and 4237 is the port number 4237 is the port number for the swpm tool here so open this 4237 otherwise swpm tool will not be opened swpm means software provisioning manager software provisioning manager is the tool here just to open this one right so here you can see as i mentioned here right so all tools are same for any product installation either either sap netweaver bw crm srm s4 and all systems so ecc systems so business tool systems solution man anything the you have to use the common software the installation procedure is common if any product you are going to install so you need the swpm tool exports kernel db db client all those things are common here suppose now we are doing the uh, netweaver installation then select the netweaver 7.5 installation then here you can see what is the what is the database you are using here for the netweaver installation so suppose you are using the example sql server database here then what are the installation you are we are doing the installation then expand the installation here in the installation we are going to install the application server abap right just click on the abap here so there are the you can install the as any sap system in the following options one is the standard installation distributed installation high availability installation here installation can be done in three ways right three options actually so some customer they want to go for the standard standard means standard installation means in one operating system in one operating system so if you install so database and sap if you one operating system if you install the db and sap on the one host that is called the standard installation standard installation means in one operating system you are installing the database and the sap db and in both are both are in the same host that is called the standard installation so here so for both you are using the same operating system so your maintenance cost license everything will be reduced here so some customer they don't want to take the risk and they want so their sap is on the one host and db is on the one host here so that here sap will run on the this operating system db is running on the this operating system here this is called the distributed this is called the distributed environments here sap and db here so distributed environment here sap and db distributed environment we can use it here sap and db here so sap and db distributed environment we can use it here so that this is the sap this is the database here right this is on the one operating system this is on the one more operating system this operating system has separate so license cost this operating system is separate but here risk is less here 
वे दिकास बोथ आर रनिंग ऑन द सेपरेट हार्डवेयर सेपरेट आर हार्डवेयर सो समथिंग इज हैपेंड हियर नथिंग विल हैपन हियर समथिंग इज हैपन हियर नथिंग विल हैपन हियर राइट सो इन दिस इफ द बोथ आर इन द सेम ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम इफ समथिंग हैपन विद द डेटाबेस सो एसएपी विल गो डाउन समथिंग इज हैपन हियर दिस विल गो डाउन हियर राइट सो दैट इज द मेन थिंग ऑफ द हियर राइट दिस इज अ डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड वन डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम हियर डिस्ट्रीब्यूटेड सिस्टम हियर high availability high availability means so it's kind of maybe business critical systems in the business critical systems we may have to use the high availability instances high availability it means we have the two host two data centers it's not the host also two data center primary data center and secondary data center here here sap and db is running on the one host different host Our SAP is running on the one host or different centers here. Here two SAP systems. So here one SAP, here one SAP, here one SAP, one database here is running fine here. So database to database, there is a replication will happen here, right? So maybe you can take either the all running on the one host or all both are in the different different host. Maybe take it example here. So both both. But here same SAD, same SAP system, same DB, same DB. But this is the data center one. This is the data center two here, right? So this is the disaster recovery two data center two. This is the data center one here. In the data center, all users are connecting to the this SAP. They will do the transactions and orders here. So tomorrow something is happened. Entire data center is crashed. In one country, entire data center is crashed here. So immediately they have the plan B, disaster recovery mechanism. immediately they will start the data center two then they will ask the users to connect to this one and all users will start building the business applications and everything from this data center this is called the data center two option right this is the high availability means maximum system is available even though primary is down you have the secondary option so they can use this option here so that is the so secondary option here that is called the high availability option here so we can use any option we can use it here but so we can use the standard option here standard which means standard means sap db all are in the one host all are in the one host it will be installed that is called the sap windows one host it will be installed here just click on the next button then it will go to the next screen here this is called the sap road map steps these are the sap road map steps here so initial selection is different here so you go whatever the system you select it whatever the product you select it but everything we have to start with the swpm tool swpm tool we have to start it with everything we have to start with the swpm tool here right in the swpm tool in the swpm tool what we have to do here in the swpm tool so then we have to open the swpm tool then select the product Which product you are going to install? Maybe you have installed the ECC, or Netweaver, or CRM, or SRM. What product you are going to install? So that prospective product you have to select it. Then choose the database DB. You have to choose it. Then choose the selected single or standard. You need to choose it here. So then, so then you will go to the next button. Then you will see the define parameter section here. Define parameter section here. in the define parameter section here you see the parameter settings here in the parameter settings you can see here typical or custom so what is mean by typical typical means so when you are doing the db installation default settings will be taken default password one password for all users so it will get the less prompts but if you choose the custom multiple prompts you will get all the parameters it will ask you to change it then you can use it here it is the time taking process so now defining the parameter when we are have to give the inputs we have to give the inputs here just click on the next button here so installation sap installation is a very time taking process here so it's not like very simple installation one hour we will complete it user inputs is one hour then after that four to five hours it will take to complete the installation giving the inputs defining the parameter section giving the inputs it will take the one hour but remaining things it will, remaining things will take the 
three to four hours, it will take the three to four hours to perform the installations here. So that is the main thing here. So here it is asking the log off required. Just click on the OK button. Then it will ask the log off. Then you can log in back here. Okay, so what you can do now, I think uh, time also is not sufficient for us, only so 15 minutes left, it's not sufficient. In 15 minutes, we cannot complete the giving the inputs itself. Why? Because giving the inputs will take the, giving the inputs, it will take the so one hour, maximum one hour, it will take it out. So you are in the middle of the installation, it will not take. So, so what you have to do it here for today, as per your assignment today, so launch the sum tool, then go to up to so whatever i have came to the here right up to that speed you have to go to the, go to the launch it then url will be opened here then go to the here then you can use up to here you can enter it here so this is what okay starting the sum tool that is what you have to do it as a assignment for today okay sure sir sure yeah Okay, 